Right, okay. So, um, first step then is to attach the neck. Okay, so got the body, got the neck. Um, I've got my trusty wood glue. Uh, let me just get my paintbrush as well. Okay, I've also got um, the screws that are going to hold the neck in and a couple of screwdrivers ready. Okay, so once again, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. So let's crack on with this part. Um, okay, something strange going on there. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, one sec, let me just start my timer so I don't run out of time. Okay, so, uh, right, attaching the neck. So, uh, first of all, let's get some glue on the neck heel. Uh, and just like with everything else, as I keep saying, I want enough glue to cover the area, but not so much that we get a ton of squeeze out. Um, so, the most important part is 100% coverage, as always. Um, you know, I am going to get some squeeze out, that, that's, uh, that's a given. Uh, and it's also, in, in a way, it's a good thing because you know that once the glue s starts squeezing out, you know, you've got good contact. Right, so let's put some on the, on the body as well. Uh, I'll try and do this in a way you can see what I'm doing. Whoa. Yeah, I've just filled this glue pot up so it's squeezing out quickly. Okay. So, you know, the, the, the advantage of not only gluing but screwing the neck in as well is that, you know, while, it's, while the glue's drying, I can continue working on it because the screws will actually hold it firmly in place while, while, the group, uh, while the glue sets. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put the screws through the holes first because I, I want to also put some glue on the screw threads as well just to make sure that everything is going to stay exactly where I want it and it ain't going to come off ever. <laughs> okay, so that's the uh, two screws through the holes. I'm going to put some glue on the on these threads as well. Not too much, because it, it will cause a uh, pressure and they and they may not go in properly. So just a smear of glue on these two screws. Too much on that one. Spent some on the other one as well. Okay, that's good. Right. Uh, let's get the glue out of the way. Okay, so time to actually start attaching the neck. So line up the screws into the into the holes. Let me just turn that round. Okay, so the screws are actually located in the holes in the neck. So start to uh, screw them in. Quite a satisfying part of the job again this, you know, basically final assembly or starting the final assembly. It's always very pleasing getting to this stage. Okay. So I'm just going to nip them up first of all, make sure everything's all aligned as it should be before I tighten them down fully. the other one up as well. So I've just nipped them up, just tightened, make sure everything's in line as it should be. What's that stuck in there? A bit of the carpet fibre. <laughs> okay. Right, that will 
all seems good. Let's just check there's no rotation. Looks good. Right, so I'll just tweak them down a little bit more, check again before I fully tighten them. Okay, check for any rotation. Looks perfect. Angle looks great. Actually, let me just get my straight edge and check that neck break angle before I go any further, before the glue sets up. Okay, so putting the straight edge across the fretboard or along the fretboard. Uh, yeah, so it's just, I can't see that. So the end of the, the um, straight edge is just about the height of the top of the bridge. Um, so it might actually be, it might actually end up that the, the saddle is a little bit too high once it's all set up. But that's okay because I can I can cut the saddle down a bit to, to lower it, so that's not a problem. Okay, final tighten on these two screws, and that's the neck in. Okay. One more check. Perfect. I can't feel any. I can't feel any bump either side there. And you can see we do have a little bit of glue squeeze out, which I will clean up now. Let's turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. Okay, so just uh, wipe it off with a dry cloth, uh, dry tissue rather. And it should be. Perfect like that. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, I'll just double check those screws are nice and tight. Okay, good. And good. Right, okay, so that's the neck attached. Um, next part now is the, um, the pickup. Okay, so that's the, the pickup itself. Um, and I need those two screws and I need these couple of spanners. Now, um, so this, this is the actual pickup pad itself. It's just basically a metal disc. I think it's brass or something. And it's, it's basically just hot glued on this side. So that's how I'm going to attach it uh, on the inside. Now, I've already done a test piece. I've, I've glued um, a steel washer to, to a piece of wood, the same kind of wood that the bridge plate is made from, using a hot glue gun. And, um, you know, I've left it long enough to harden, and that ain't coming off. There's no way that's going to come off. I would break the wood before I managed to break the glue joint there. So that's the ideal stuff to, to, uh, to attach this. Now, before, um, before I actually uh, attach it, I want, to, um, I want to just check which is going to be the best position for that pickup. So I'm going to temporarily put the, the saddle into the bridge. Um, because that is, you know, the, the, the point of contact where, where you get the, the sound transferring through. So, uh, so I've got my amplifier plugged in. And I'm just going to put the lead into the, into the output jack there. Um, volume's up. Right, so, um, amp on. Let me just check. Levels, yeah. Okay, so this is obviously you know a time to check that the thing is working as well. Okay, that's working fine. So what I want to do is just place it uh, inside. So there are three possible positions I can put this pickup pad. It's either on the um, the bridge plate itself, or just in front of it on this panel, or just behind it back here 
Now, depending on the instrument, the, the results of how you know, it picks up the sound will vary. So I'm just going to place it in the three places that I just showed you and then tap on the saddle and see which gives the best sound. Now, it's not only for volume, it's also for um, sustain. So let me just place it there first. That seems quite good. Now, on the bridge plate itself, that's definitely louder. Now, how about just behind it there? So, I don't know if you can pick that sound up, but it does give different results. So that's kind of more, how can I say? I guess you'd say that's kind of a bit more bassy there. And then on the front, more trebly, but on the bridge plate itself, it's actually louder. So I think I'm going to place it on the actual bridge plate. Okay, I'm off and plug. Uh, I'm going to have a think about that, but I think that's what I'm going to do because because it's giving the most volume. Uh, it is going to be the best place to you know for the pickup. Um, but like I said, it's not only about volume; it's about sustain as well. Right. So I've got to feed the two wires through the through the hole in the side of the ukulele and then place the preamp inside that hole. I've made it a really snug fit so it's, it's pretty tight but it does go in there. <laughs> okay so that's that in place and I've got my two screws here and the screwdriver so I'll line up the holes and get those screws in not over tight at first just get them in place That's the first one. So as I said, I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna tighten them right down just yet. I just want to put them in so that the thing stays in place. Okay, that's one, and just line that hole up. Where is it? It's interesting. It should be there. Yeah, that's got it. Okay. Right, so I'll just lightly pull those screws down. Okay, so that's it in place from this side and how it looks inside. Now, the, um, the output jack, I'm just gonna take the, take the nuts off of there first and the washer. Okay, and now where I've got the hole inside in the corner, um, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the corner of this is literally square block, so that fits nicely into that corner. Okay, like, like, hmm, lights please. Okay, I think you can see that. So it's gone into that corner. Okay, and then put the washer on the other side and I'm going to use the big nut for this which is actually a 14 mil nice and chunky so I need to hold the um, the input jack inside while I tighten that down not too much you can easily break these why have I got the wrong spanner it's a 14, not a 13. Come on. Okay, let's try that again. That's better. Fits. Okay. So, try and hold the jack in place inside while I turn that nut to tighten it. Let's make sure the wash is central. Yes, it is. How's that looking? Yeah, quite happy with that. Just tighten that down a little bit more. Okay. Alright, so that's that part installed. 
looks kind of chunky, but that's really what I wanted. Okay, so we've got the wires inside. Now, uh, actually, let me just tight, tighten that preamp down because it's wobbling about a bit and it could break something. So I'll just tighten that down. I've got to be careful not to over tighten these screws because, as I said, this thing is made of chipboard and it will chip. <laughs> right, that seems pretty good. Just see if I can nip those screws a little bit tighter without going mad. Right, that's good. And again, you know, this, this, this part is only plastic, so if you try to tighten it down too much, you probably end up cracking it. Okay, so uh, I need to plug in my hot glue gun, let that heat up. Um, ready to put that. Uh, the, the pickup sensor in there. Now, <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Okay, so while uh, while that is heating up, I'm going to find um, some of the the clips that you use to tidy up the wires in inside this kind of setup. So I'll see if I can find some of those. And uh, they'll be in my parts tin over here. Stealing it from another set, but that's okay, I'll replace it later. <laughs> so, um, oh. uh, let's try another set. That's not got all of the bits I need. Ah, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. So, a little uh, cable tie or zip tie if you prefer. And um, the sticky pad that it goes through, which has got a little couple of little screws stuck in it, so I'll get those out first. <laughs> right, okay, so um, I need to figure out, you know, where, where I'm going to put this, this little pad to, to tie the zip tie or cable tie onto it um, to keep everything nice and tidy. Uh, let's see, and also leave enough room for, um, you know, the pickup sensor to get to where it needs to be. So I think it looks like I can coil those together like that, and uh, now where am I going to put these? I think, I think on the side. Be better. Hmm. Possibly down that end. Yeah, try and put it on the bottom end. And it's difficult for you to see what I'm doing, really. But I think I think I'm happy with it going there. So let's just see how that's going to go. That and okay. Um, right, I'm going to put the sticky pad in now, but I'm not going to tie the cables up yet until I've got that pickup sensor attached where that's going to go. So let's just put, put that pad in first as soon as I can take the backing off. Glue's a bit nasty. Right, that's got it. Okay, let's put that right in the middle of the bottom. That's about right. Okay, so that's it. Stuck it on the bottom panel there. So I'll put it on this, this joiner that I've got here because it's going to stick on there a lot better. It's not quite straight, but <laughs> it's good enough. Right, let me just see if this uh, hot glue gun is hot enough. Um, where's my little piece of test wood? There it is. 
Um, let's just see if that's working right now. Yeah, that appears to be good. Right, let me get that piece out of the way. Right, so um, you're not really going to see what I'm doing here, but I've, I've got to see what I'm doing because I've, I've got to make sure I get this right. So let's put it like that. That looks good. Okay, so a little bit of glue on the pad, not too much. This stuff and I, I, I don't really want too much squeeze out. Okay, all right, I'm just going to press that down, hold it in place while that sets. It doesn't take very long actually. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it going on the bridge plate um, because if you think about it, you know, the sound. Transfer from transfers from the strings to the saddle to the bridge and then to the bridge plate So it just makes sense, you know uh, I'm getting quite close on time as well. So right that I think is stuck Nicely on there. So I've, I've got the the wire coming backwards because I'm going to attach all the wires at the back there Right, so let me just get that zip tie stroke cable tie. Uh, so which way am I going to do that? That's probably that way, I think. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I was hoping to uh, include gluing the back on in this video as well, but I'm not going to have time, but that will be the next thing I do. And then after that, it will be stringing it up and setting it up. Right, let's get these wires tidied away. I mean, as I've said before, this is not only to keep the wires tidy, but to keep them from rattling around so you don't get unwanted, you know, buzzes and extra noises coming through. And uh, it's a bit fiddly. So I want to make I want to make sure it's tidy as well. I mean that is part of the reason for it, but it's not the main reason really. Okay, shaving a little bit of a ball ache. Right, let's get that. Get that. Okay, just feeding the end through the zip tie now. So you do it up. Why oh, so fiddly? <laughs> I'm almost out of time. Oh dear. Because <laughs> I'm trying to rush it, that's the problem. Don't do that. Right. Uh, Okay, uh, I haven't done it up tight just yet because I'm not overly happy with how it's ended up. I do want to tidy it up a bit more, um, but that's basically it. And uh, so that's the neck installed, that's the electronics installed. Um, just got to tidy, tidy that up a bit and, and button that up. And then I'll be gluing the back on. And uh, the next video, which will be part seven, will be um, stringing up and setting it up. And, uh, you know, tr trying out the uh, electrics as well through an amplifier and probably through my effects pedal as well. So that's going to be in, the, uh, in part seven, which will probably be the final. So... Uh, I want to thank you all for watching, hope you're enjoying watching these videos as much as I'm making them. Uh, please look after yourselves and look after each other and we will see you soon. Peace out.